Now let's import one assembly that is located over the base part that we just modeled. Go to the file menu and select the insert geometry option. Navigate to the folder where the robot arm unit 1 step file is saved. To see the file, select the step file format from the list of formats. Select the step file and import it. Notice that part of the imported assembly is transparent in nature. This transparency indicates that the imported parts are still in the form of surface bodies. Unlike solid bodies, surface bodies don't have any volume associated with them. Let's hide the base part for better viewing of the imported assembly. In many cases, if an imported model has surface body, it needs to be repaired. In simple terms, repairing the model means converting the surface bodies into one or more solid bodies by stitching surfaces, closing gaps or recreating missing faces. Let's perform these operations on the imported model. From the repair tab, select the stitch tool. As shown by the message in the stage navigator, there are no areas identified for stitching. Next click on the gaps tool. There are no gaps reported between the surfaces in this model. Now click the missing faces tool. It will highlight a couple of regions where the faces are missing in the model. Click the green tick to create the missing faces. The model now becomes opaque indicating that the bodies are converted to solid geometry. Zoom into the top portion of the component support unit located within the imported assembly at the top right corner. Rotate the model for better viewing. A standalone circular face is seen. However, the cylindrical bar as seen on the other side is missing. Let's create this missing bar. Go to the design tab and select blend tool. Select the two circular faces. Complete the blend to create a cylinder. Now zoom out and show the base component. The imported assembly needs to be placed over the top face of the base with its axis aligned with the axis of the base. For that, select the base component, go to the assemble group in the ribbon and click the anchor tool. This will fix the location of the base component. Next select the align tool. Now select the base circular face of the imported assembly and then select the top circular face of the base component. The imported assembly aligns itself with the base face. If you rotate the model to view it from the bottom side, the axis of the imported assembly is not aligned with the axis of the base. Again the align tool. First select the side cylindrical face of the imported assembly and then the cylindrical face of the base component. The axis now gets aligned with each other. The imported assembly is now perfectly aligned with the base component. It is now time to save the model before moving to the next part.